come on through, cocky. I don't want to put my soapbox, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is another episode of What You're Making. Today, I'm actually I'm going to talk about doing barbecue chicken and barbecue ribs in the house. In the house, not on the grill. We're going to do it in the oven, and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. This is what I actually did for Christmas. For Christmas, I had decided that I didn't want to do like traditional food, so I did basically picnic food is what I did for this for the Christmas of 2015, and I didn't want to be out on my porch on my back porch or anything doing um you know messing around with the grill, so I just did it in the oven. So that's what I'm actually going to go through today. I'm going to go through the process of making barbecue chicken and making barbecue ribs in the oven and quick it's not you know it's quick and not a whole lot to it so let's get into it okay guys you want to take your chicken and make sure like i said wash your chicken wash it very very good because we're not trying to screw anybody up with no salmonella and all that kind of carrying on wash the chicken really good take your chicken breasts put them in to a bowl and you want to go ahead and put your seasonings on. I use poultry seasoning, um, a little a little hit of onion powder, um, seasoned salt, a little uh, meat tenderizer. You want to put some uh, Worcestershire sauce in there. Can't stand that, trying to say that word. That is such a hard word. And um, I also I use a little sage, basil, and I also put a few parsley flakes in as well. And then you want to take that, mix that up really, really good. And then you want to take this and you want to actually put it into, you know, close your container, put it into your refrigerator and let it sit overnight. Okay. Okay. And now, guys, you want to follow the same procedure with your ribs. You see, I actually, I cut my ribs down. I already cut them down into sections. Makes it just easier to deal with. And actually, um, I put them in the same procedure. Put them into your bowl. Get your seasonings on there. Mix it up real good. Put a top on it and put it into the refrigerator and let it sit overnight. All right. Okay, folks. It's been a day later. Day later. And what we do, we take all our chicken and our ribs out of the refrigerator and you're going to actually load them into a silver you know silver oven pans and i don't want to see any of y'all's asses out there trying to fry chicken in these goddamn pans these pans are not for frying chicken do you understand keep those damn pans off the top of your stove they are for inside the oven not on top of the stove with grease in them you're gonna burn your whole goddamn house down Lord have mercy. I don't know if you all seen that video that was circulating around Facebook some damn fools frying chicken in a damn silver pan foolishness child and moving on Anyway, pour all of your contents into the uh, pan and, you know, situate things in a good fashion so that everything can actually cook evenly. Now, the squares you see, take one stick of butter and cut it up and literally place it strategically throughout your pan. And as you can see, there's, um, you can put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan just so it's that it doesn't stick or anything because we're not frying these ribs we're literally we're going to bake these and they're going to make their own moisture anyway but that's just something I always do just a little bit just coat the bottom of the pan with water and then you're going to wrap it up there you go wrap it up with Reynolds wrap Reynolds wrap not that shit from the dollar store Reynolds wrap I don't know about that dollar store stuff, so I can't tell you. I don't know how it'll work or don't work. Reynolds wrap. Wrap it up real good. And also, I double my pan. Double your pan just to make sure. Because sometimes they've been known to have pinholes. And that's like I said, don't be frying no chicken and shit in it. Because a pinhole and grease and a grease fire equals homeless ass. Anyway. All right, guys. So, we're going to take this. 
preheat your oven at 350 and you're going to stick this into the oven and it's going to be in there for quite a while. So now take your little self and go clean up your kitchen. All right. Okay, guys. Now it's literally been about two hours and 15 minutes and I've just removed the aluminum foil from my pan. So now what you're seeing, you're actually seeing my chicken and my ribs. And they're basically just, they're, they're done for the most part. What I'm going to do now, you see the juice that's down in here. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to remove most of that. And then we're going to replace that liquid with our barbecue sauce. And again, um, you can use whatever you want. Um, today I'm actually going to use open pit. Um, barbecue sauce that's already done purchased from the store or you could actually use your own barbecue sauce I do make my own barbecue sauce but again that's another video for another time I'm doing the open pit thing today we're doing quick 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 I'm being lazy so okay give me just a second and then we're going to get rid of this juice and replace it with barbecue sauce alright bear with me guys Okay, so here we've done, I've gone ahead and put the barbecue sauce. You want to make sure you get pretty good coverage onto your meat. And I'm going to rewrap this and I'm going to stick it back in the oven for about 35 more minutes. And then that's it. We'll be done. All right. Just about there, guys. We're just about there. Okay, guys. I just took my ribs back, my ribs and my chicken back out of the oven. And this is your finished product. And it's just about time to eat. I know it took a little bit of time, but it was all worth it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. All right, guys. There you have it. Like I said, ribs and chicken. Done in the oven, the spill it boy way. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Take care, guys.